And now I'd like to invite Rachel Price up. Uh, Rachel is an associate professor in Spanish and Portuguese and will be presenting on the Valdemir Godero exhibition. Valdemar, excuse me, I'm probably mispronouncing that. <laughs> Cinema has left the movie theater, migrating to tablets and phones, but art remains stuck in the museum. How can we reimagine art exhibition for the 21st century, not as an annex to a brick and mortar show, but radically reconceived for the digital era? I'm Rachel Price, Associate Professor of Spanish and Portuguese at Princeton University, and with a collaborator at UC Berkeley and a digital artist and programmer based in Barcelona, we're innovating a new platform to exhibit the artwork and archives of Valdemar Cordero, a Brazilian artist who was the first artist in Latin America to make digital computer art in the late 60s and early 1970s. Valdemar Cordero, Bits of the Planet, will launch in 2023. The title indicates our interest in tracing out the through lines between Cordero's well-known abstract art his lesser known landscape architecture and ecology, and his pioneering digital aesthetics. The show began as a traditional exhibition in 2019. We were planning going to Brazil, beginning to conserve some of his works when the COVID-19 pandemic hit. We saw it as an opportunity, since a lot of museums put their shows on hold, we realized, rethinking Cordero's work, that to truly honor his interventions in digital aesthetics and ecology, we had to do a profoundly digital exhibition. Users of the platform interact with his archives and art through a, manner, a, a variety of different ways, including layers information, hover panes, enlarged pixels, um, and uh, network diagrams. We're building a template that other institutions can use to similarly showcase the work of very important but lesser known globally artists. Building out as well and extending the reach of uh, more traditional media such as art catalogs or scholarly articles. My own scholarship on Cordero, for example, piqued the interest in 2018 of a MoMA curator who purchased and exhibited one of his 1970s computer artworks. But we can magnify and amplify this kind of connection through new platforms. So far, we've, reached, uh, we've raised 70,000. Um, we're five months into the planning and execution of the platform, but we need a few more, uh, a little bit more support to finish the uh, design phase and also add some support for image rights acquisition. And we believe that this model is really the democratization of art that Cordero himself, who was not just an artist but also a theorist, imagined in the late 1960s and early 1970s. Thank you. Check out the full playlist from the 2022 Innovation Forum or visit kellercenter.princeton.edu slash innovation forum to learn more. Subscribe for more videos on entrepreneurship, design and design thinking, societal impact, and innovation coming out of Princeton University.